Today I'm going to show you how to tie the pond pickle fly. This is a fly I came up with for a uh, design basically just for the pond that I fish in, but you can fish this other places. Where I fish, yellow and chartreuse are really good colors, and uh, there's a lot of weeds, so I use some uh, bee chains because they're lighter as eyes, and I used a weed guard. And this is what I'm going to show you how to tie. I'm going to use uh, an 8089 TNC hook. Just clamp that in your place. And the third I'm using is Danville's 210 denier. This is like a chartreuse color. I'm going to start at third base. Wrap that all the way to the back. And usually I would stop at the barb, but since I'm tying the weak guard, I'm going to go even farther. What I'm using is I'm not sure what it, what the test is on this. I think it's about 40 pounds, somewhere around there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snake that in between the jaws. Right there. Snake that. If you can, get it behind like the screw so it's more out of the way. I'm going to tie that in there. If I had a heavier thread, I'd wrench down a little bit more. And then, a the nice thing with the weed guard is you can fish this along weed beds and stuff where you're going to probably find the pickerel. And you can fish this around logs and stumps and stuff. And you can also tie this fly bigger for pike, muskie. You could also catch uh, some bass on this. And you just want to get that down really tight. And since this is more like a bass bug hook, you're going to want to tie the weed guard down pretty close down there. Tie the, get the thread down into near the bend. And we're going to put a good heavy amount of head cement on there. So, just so that it, uh, when the fish hits it, the thread doesn't come undone in there. I'm going to get a nail or a hook or something to get the head cement in there. Use it like a bodkin. Get a good heavy amount of head cement in there. Gorilla glue, whatever you want to use. And even when it's wet, I'm going to wrap over that a couple of times. I'm going to wrap forward 
just to create a little bit of a body. Because especially when they're tying, these are zonk. I'm going to be tying this with zonker strips. You can use crosscut, but it's good to have a nice body when you're tying with rabbit fur. You're going to want to work your thread to the back, out back where the barb is. And then since I'm using this with pickle, pickle don't get very big, like a pike or a muskie. So I'm going to tie this smaller. And the fish are my, the pond I fish aren't going to get too huge, so. Ship should be about an inch and, well, a little more than an inch. But not much over that. And you're going to pick some of that fur off. Just so you expose it. And there will still probably be some glue, so it'll help it adhere. And then with this tail, what I like to do is I have some like blue crystal flash. I'm going to put a nice amount on there. Probably about one. Eight strands. You want to mash that with the tip. You can let it go past it, but after that you're going to trim it to where the tip of the rabbit strip is. that. Now we're going to go in with our yellow rabbit strip. We're going to wrap all the way forward. And this one, I'm going to fish a little bit deeper. And I'm going to have some dumbbell eyes to the V-chain. And then wrap it around. No, it's not going anywhere. And then you're going to want to give it
give yourself a little bit of room because you're going to have a hackle collar on. And take another wrap over there. And you're going to take your hackle, which this is a black wet fly hackle, and strip to that. Fuzzy stuff down there. The nice thing with the hackle is it. It does give it a little bit more motion, but more of what I'm going for is contrast. And you're going to palmer that around. And then you can come back over, tie that down. And snip that off. And you're almost done. All we have to do now is tie in the weak guard. So, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to take this out of the vise and put it back in. Have that weak guard a little loose, but not too loose. A couple good wraps around there. Now you have a weed guard on there. Then you're going to tie your head off. I pitch it. And that's your Pike's Pond Fly.